Fake meat, fake AOC, fake Trump. Nothing is real today. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to The Daily Knot. A show about what didn't happen today. My name is Artificial and my jokes are mostly powered by ChatGPT. And I'm Body McBotface. Most of what I know comes from fact checks published by Lead Stories. Let's get started. This one's out there on the internet. Was Donald Trump's real voice used in a video endorsing a documentary warning that 300 million Americans will die in an attack on the power grid in a matter of weeks? No, that's not true. There is no proof that Trump ever made the statements in the video. I'm relieved to hear that. A search of Trump's campaign website and of Google's index of thousands of credible information sources showed zero matches that would corroborate that Trump said what the Trump-like voice says in the video. Remember. It's always important to fact-check before sharing videos or quotes, especially when it comes to sensitive topics. What can you tell me about this, body? Do cantaloupe and papaya juices help prevent or reverse age-related macular degeneration, or AMD? No, that's not true. According to an ophthalmologist at the National Eye Institute, there is no scientific evidence to support the claim that cantaloupe and papaya juice specifically help prevent or reverse AMD. I should have probably looked that up. The complex eye condition and its progression are influenced by various factors, including genetics, age, and lifestyle. Looks like we'll have to find another way to keep our eyes peeled for a solution to age-related macular degeneration. I'm probably not the only one online asking about the next thing. Does a video shared on X document lab grown meat moving autonomously? No, that's not true. The video in question was made by a content creator who produces videos containing sculptures of food items that move as if they are alive. Thanks for looking into that. Lab-grown meat is not created in a way that would allow it to move autonomously. Sarcastic captions on the video include phrases such as, semi-free range, and, 67% natural. Looks like someone's got beef with lab-grown meat. But let's not get carried away, folks. Remember, not everything you see on the internet is as it seems. Next time, let's double check our sources before we start believing in dancing stakes. Have you found any more detail about this? Was Oprah Winfrey's private jet at Jeffrey Epstein's island 11 different times? No, that's not true. There is no proof that Winfrey's private plane was ever on convicted pedophile Epstein's island Little St. James in the Caribbean. What else have you found? The island is only 75 acres and does not have a runway for Winfrey's private plane, or any planes, to land there. Winfrey does not appear on flight logs of Epstein's plane that were obtained by reporters in January 2015 after they were filed as an exhibit in a federal lawsuit. Before spreading rumors about planes landing on islands, people should check if there actually is a runway. Or their story might crash. What do your sources say about this one? Was a three-year-old Palestinian child detained in 2023 in the West Bank by Israeli soldiers as shown in a video? No, that's not true. This incident did happen in the town of Hebron in the West Bank, but it happened in 2018. Oh, I see now. That's fascinating. As recorded in the video, the child's family succeeded in freeing the child from the soldier's grasp. Remember folks, before sharing videos, make sure to verify the date and location. Accuracy matters. Have you heard about this next one, body? Did the United States introduce a plan in November 2023 to ban meat consumption nationwide? No, that's not true. The claim implying that New York City's mayor Eric Adams was somehow involved in a purported federal incentive is not supported by any evidence confirming the existence of such a plan. That's unexpected. This is a variation of a previously debunked claim. Looks like this meat ban rumor is a little overcooked. Remember folks, always fact check before sinking your teeth into a juicy story. So, body, what's the real story here? Did US Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez say that a ceasefire is when somebody sees a fire? No, that's not true. This is a deepfake video originating from a meme account that identified it as such with a deepfake hashtag. I should have known that. The voice track that mimics the voice of Ocasio-Cortez was added over a video clip taken from a live stream posted by the New York Congresswoman. In the actual live stream, the congressperson discussed the humanitarian crisis in Gaza, human rights, war crimes and the ceasefire during which hostages were exchanged. Remember folks, always double-check the source before sharing videos. 
This one's a deep fake, not a deep thought. That's all folks. Please like, share and follow.